Amid a state of emergency along, among local animal groups, uh, one organization remains dedicated to helping every animal possible, even going above and beyond. The Helen Woodward Animal Center working to fulfill the bucket list of six-month-old German Shepherd mix, Hannah, who has a chronic medical condition. And with us now, uh, of course, is Hannah. She's here, too, along with Jessica Gurk, the Public Relations Director of Helen Woodward Animal Center. Thanks for joining us once again. Thank you for letting us bring Hannah in. One of her bucket list items was to be on TV. Well, so she's here today. There's yeah. one check off yes, the list. There she exactly. is. Exactly. She's having the time of her life. <laughs> she absolutely yes. is. You know, you're, you're providing her, you know, with these, like, make-a-wish things. Um, talk about Hannah's condition right now. So she has renal dysplasia, which basically means that her kidneys did not properly develop. She's only six months old. Um, she looked looked and still acts incredibly healthy. And so when she came in, um, we did our, our basic check on her. She got adopted. And then a number of weeks later, her adopter brought her back and said that they had some concerns because she was urinating a lot. And so we did some medical tests and we found out that she had this condition. And so, of course, we took Hannah back. So we're we're not really sure that she's ever going to find a forever adopter, but we are hoping to find her a forever foster. Um, the situation is uh, such that we don't know how long she has to live. I mean, she might live a number of years, but it's possible she could live a number of months. So what we wanted to do is make sure that all the wonderful things that dogs love to do, mm -hmm. that she's getting to do them. And so we are fulfilling bucket list items currently. And what are her bucket list items? Oh, everything. You name it. So, of course, like I said, one of them was to be on the news. Oh, she's here. Yeah. She wants to be pet of the week. We got her a puppuccino. She wants nice. to have uh, pancakes. I believe she likes to go see some dolphins at SeaWorld. We want her to go on the beach. Uh, we'd love her to go to our puppy prom. But all the things that when you think about having your dog beside you and doing these wonderful things that we get to do, we really want Hannah to get to do them. And so we're, we're dedicated to it. You know, with a lot of people, when they adopt a dog or when they have a pet that has special needs, it, it can be pretty difficult. What do people need to know when they're doing that? Yeah, so this forever foster that we are hoping to find, the one thing that we are doing right now, uh, the Center's Day of Giving is coming up on Wednesday. That's the 15th. We're asking for people to donate because whatever foster we find, we are going to provide her medical care costs from now until her, her last day. So really what that forever foster just needs to know is that they're going to be bringing Hannah into their home to love and to spoil, and they'll probably be needing to bring her back for medical checks probably every three to six months depending on how she's doing so they need to be aware of that she does tire kind of easily um, kind of the things that you would expect when somebody has you know a, a disease that's that's they're struggling with in their body but I have to tell you she is so loving she has such a joy of life and so that adopter or that foster is also going to get an amazing dog that they're gonna bring into their family absolutely and you know it's one of those things I think a lot of people you know, they they say it's just so expensive to have a dog with special needs and then they opt to do other things, even euthanasia, and that's that's a difficult thing, especially for dogs so young. Well, that's what we we're talking about. I mean, she's only six months old, so like I said, she may have years ahead. We had a dog with cancer that came into our uh, care, same situation. We knew that she didn't, we weren't aware of how long she would live, so we provided the medical care for her to live a good life, and she lived for a number of years. So we want, if Hannah has those years ahead, we want want her to have them happily and we want to make sure that the foster that takes her in knows that we are here Helen Woodward is here to provide for them and for Hannah until the very end so that is something that if people can't adopt Hannah they maybe say I don't have the lifestyle where I can take on a medical case but if they'd like to donate they can go on to uh, animalcenter.org helping Hannah and donate towards her journey you know um, anybody who gets her I mean you guys will cover all the medical costs and yes. everything else that comes with it and for as long as she needs Yes. Um, talk about any other pets in your care that are receiving special treatment. Well, every animal that comes through the doors of Helen Woodward Animal Center gets every single thing they need. And we, we take them on as though they're our own. So the health care is just second to none. We have an amazing state-of-the-art facility. And those animals are loved and cared for. It is a hard time. We've talked about this before. Across the country, mm -hmm. adoptions are down. But we want to make sure that our animals that are coming to us have their lives ahead of them and ha live it happy. So we are providing, providing, providing for those animals. And it's really because of the support of our donors who know what we're doing and know where our hearts are and have the same hearts that donate that help us do that. And it's also really the fosters who are so important oh. because just getting them out 
of the shelter really helps them out. They're saving two lives. Every time a foster takes an animal into their home and lets that animal stay with them for the time until we can actually bring another animal into the facility, they're actually helping with that animal and they're helping for the one that gets into the kennel. So it's great. They can know that they're saving two lives and doing something really wonderful. All right. Well, I mean, that's the important thing is that if you cannot afford to actually adopt you can afford to foster, so yes, just give them a little bit of a home. Uh, if you'd like more information on helping Hannah and all of the work that Helen Woodward Animal Center does, we do have a link on our website, fox5sandiego.com. Just click on the scene on tab, but I don't know who out there who gets to see Hannah. Oh, I mean, she looks great. Right? She's yeah. amazing. She's living her best life. All right. Thank you so much, Jessica. Thank we appreciate you, you coming in. And again, that link is on our website, fox5sandiego.com.